Welcome to North Carolina Wine TV Food Friday. I'm your co-host, Jeff Cohen. I'm your other co-host, Kit Bodner. Let's have a little wine as we uh, relax in preparation for the crazy week of Christmas next year. Next week. Next week. That's true. This, this is Friday before Christmas. So I think we should declare this Wine Friday. Wine Friday. By now, everybody's kind of hectic and probably needs to drink a little bit. That's right. It, it may be that this was your last day of work, or mm-hmm. it still is your last day of work before two-week vacation. I know some people, mm-hmm. even in North Carolina, take off yeah. the Christmas week and the New Year week. So, definitely could be, you may be, you know, ready to go home, get a kickback, have a bottle of wine picked out, yeah. or, or a good local beer, or something like that. Well, we're here on Food Friday with Michael's Blend, which, mm-hmm. as we kind of talked about yesterday, is a dry red uh, Bordeaux style blend from yep. the Atkin Valley area of North Carolina, and we said you know go real good with with meats ch- uh, such as chicken and duck. And, you know we're not going to have any of that today. I told you. See, we wanted to go fun, fun and simple today because you guys aren't, especially this time of year, aren't going to cook any of that. That's right. right now. That's true. You're, you're you're trying to get something quick together because you got to cook a big fancy meal next week, so you're not mm-hmm. going to do this all. So what we're, what we're having we're having grilled cheese. Grilled cheese and wine. Yeah, so we got some grilled cheese, got some Parmesan, got some cheddar on there. Does have a little truffle oil, which is like the best thing in the whole world. Kind of like an earthy, mm-hmm. uh, mushroom flavored oil if you've never had it. So really awesome stuff. So some people make simple grilled cheese. It's a simple grilled cheese. It <laughs> took, like, took like oh, two it, minutes. But, but it includes extra flavors that are going to... Hopefully pair well with this wine. Yeah, so... Always thinking. That's what we like about so Kit here on Wine TV. So we got some grilled cheese. We got some wine. Um, going to try a little bit of the wine. Go our... You're going to explain yeah, the that's rules right. the, This the, is their first food Friday? That's right. The traditions. They're not rules. Traditions. Yeah, the holiday season. Here. I hate rules. I don't know <laughs> why right. I said rules. That's right. What we do on food Friday is first we try some wine. Wine. And then we try some food. Yes. And then we try the wine again and see if it's changed. Love it. Sometimes they change the wine and the food, and sometimes they don't. Okay. All right. Completely changes the wine. does. Takes all that dryness away. It does. Absolutely. Are you getting your fruit, yeah, your fruit and flavors now? Absolutely. Absolutely. What, 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 what are you tasting? I know I continue to... Well, the, the biggest thing I'm getting is the, that woodsiness in the mid-palate. Yep. That's the biggest thing I'm getting. The dryness is completely gone now. Mm-hmm. Um, very much a smooth drinking wine now. Mm-hmm. Kind of balanced front to back. Um, woodsy, kind of in the middle. Mm-hmm. Still getting a little of that fruit up at the up at the front. The earthiness from the oil, kind of bringing out some some earthy, yeah. uh, almost dirt kind mm-hmm. of flavors. And it, it also helps the body of the wine too. Mm-hmm. It it does not it doesn't feel as thin. Boosts it up. Yeah, it boosts it up. It, for me, it does really bring more fruit out. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're getting this or not, but I'm getting blackberry now. Getting a little plum. Mm-hmm. Definitely getting some some really bright black fruit mm-hmm. kind of flavors coming through here. Definitely a much better wine experience with food. I mean, so we normally do thumbs up, thumb down from a pairing standpoint. You want to, if you have this wine, don't be scared of some grilled cheese because it's a good combo. But let me point out that this grilled cheese, there's this thing called American single processed <laughs> cheese food. And actually, if you search on cheese food and American singles, Those are government mandated definitions as whether you can call something cheese or cheese food or even American cheese. 
Mm-hmm. This has cheddar. You're so, rocking some cheddar. <laughs> that's right. Some good. It's got you got some good cheese. Some some nice uh, thick wheat bread. Mm-hmm. But um, the big flavors, the fat, the salt, yeah. really stand up well to this wine. Really help to open it up. You just make it a better experience mm-hmm. overall. And the flavors in this definitely tell me that you know this would definitely be a great wine for big meals. This wine has a lot more to offer mm-hmm. when it's paired with food. So if Absolutely. you have any, I would probably. I'm starting to get this in, in a general opinion on their wines. That they're again, they make food wines, right? And you know they're better off served with meals, sharing with friends and family. Mm-hmm. And that's really what the best part about right. wine is, is because you end up opening a bottle of wine, talking with mm-hmm. some folks. You know, catching up, and it's right. just a really great experience, and that, that's what wine help facilitates. And all right, I think this is just another good example of it. Yeah, I, w- I would agree. And then just one final note: if you look over there, you see some bottles. Those are how you can connect with us: Facebook, Twitter. Give us some suggestions. You can subscribe to the show by email, RSS. You can send us an email. You can even connect with us on iTunes. Yeah. Other than that. Uh, Have a good weekend before Christmas. That's right. This is your your last shopping weekend before Christmas or your last resting weekend. Maybe some downtime before you head back home to visit the family. Are you drinking wine this weekend? If so, leave us a comment below. Tell us what wine you're drinking. Let us know. We'll have some some special Christmas episodes next week. Don't worry. We'll still be here. We're not going anywhere. We'll see you next week. Happy holidays. Until then. Here's to the Old North State.